And what we've seen recently is that the government has been threatening, and they are saying that because of the issues of national security, that we should not embark on the protest, that they have intelligence, that some people want to hijack the protest and make it violent. Please, the, a responsible government by now, if they are saying that since like two weeks ago, by now you have identified those people who want to cause violence and take them out of the space. The aim of this protest is to address the hardship and hunger in Nigeria presently. But adding to that hunger and hardship is also an housing crisis in Abuja, where people have to, with, with six times of your salary, you will still be living far away at the outskirts of the town. And this is not something that should be obtainable in any country that is responsible to its citizens. We have also raised the fact that the sacrifice that uh, the governments claim to be making, they are not making any sacrifices. They are actually making us, the people, the sacrifices for them to keep being rich. Um, to move to the last section, protest is our democratic right. We stand with Nigerians, and the time for mass struggle is now. And so we are warning the Nigerian government to not incite violence, because they have history of inciting violence during protests. We still have pictures of people holding machetes, attacking protesters in Lagos. We must also state this clearly, that some have said that our protest is because we want to install a military government. We detest military dictatorship. Let that be loud and clear. Our protest is for our right to live as human beings in our own country. And for that reason, we do not support a military takeover. And so nobody should blackmail us that those are protesting and in support of a military takeover of Nigeria. We are exercising a democratic right, which is the right to protest. And on, 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 and on that basis, we want to also warn the military that Nigerians have learned from Lekki Massacre yes. and other massacres during the answers. We want to warn the DSS that we have learned over the years and we will not stay silent because you can beat people, but they will defend themselves. And we will not be responsible for that. It will we must state clearly that protest is not just a democratic right. Protest is also a democratic thing in itself. And so, from those of us who are here, personally, I have a history of 10 years protesting as an activist in Nigeria. And that means that if we are protesting, our culture is that a protest is a democratic place. A protest is a place where the people converge and have a congress of themselves, of the masses within themselves. And in that democratic setup, what we use that democratic setup is not just to address the concerns of the protest, it's to also look at the conduct of the protests to ensure that when we democratically are together, we can fish out if anybody has been sent into our midst. That is the culture of a protest. That's the proper culture of a protest. A proper protest should have a congress in it of the people coming together and discussing. It is in that discussion that we detect if there are any security threats to us. And the second uh, question about the fact that Tinubu you know, himself was a protester at some point. Interestingly, we have videos already online where Tinubu was actually protesting against forest subsidy removal. So it is, it is very, 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 very wrong of an elderly person. It is in Yoruba culture, an elderly person should not be lying. And so it is a lie that protest is not our right. And so if Tilbu can protest, we can also protest because he protested as part of a democratic process. And if possible, if Nigerians are protesting, if they decide that Tilbu should not join their protest, no problem. But it is best that if anybody in the ruling class, in the political elite, wants to participate in this kind of protest, they should first go and eat to the demands of the protest. Because if they don't eat the demands of the protest and join protesters, we cannot guarantee whatever happens to them. The last thing, the demands of our protest has been read out. But the main point is that all of the policies, the anti-people, the aim of this protest is to address the hardship and hunger in Nigeria presently. But adding to that hunger and hardship is also an housing crisis in Abuja where people have to, with, with six times of your salary, you will still be living far away at the outskirts of the town. And this is not something that should be obtainable in any country that is responsible to its citizens. We have also raised the fact that the sacrifice that uh, the government claims to be making, they are not making any sacrifices.
they are actually making us, the people with sacrifices, for them to keep being rich. Um, to move to the last section, protest is our democratic right. We stand with Nigerians, and the time for mass struggle is now. This might be the major part which is most controversial about this press conference. And it is that since the, the, uh, the charter for a protest has started earlier this month, the federal government has come out in many ways to try to discourage us from protesting. We, our parents did not fight against the military. They did not fight against the military, lose their lives fighting against the military just for us to come and lose the right to protest. Because the right to protest is the most sacrosanct part of, the, of, of, of democracy. In fact, many people who do not know about the fact that we are supposed to have a protest about hunger and hardship are going to be coming to this protest just because they are angry at the fact that they are telling us to not protest. We should equivocally state that Nigerians have the right to protest, peaceful assembly, and free speech. No government, no matter the number of votes you got in an election, has the right to stop the people from dissenting. And what we've seen recently is that the government has been threatening, and they are saying that because of the issues of national security, that we should not embark on the protest, that they have intelligence, that some people want to hijack the protest and make it violent. Please, the, a responsible government by now, if they are saying that since like two weeks ago, by now should have identified those people who want to cause violence and take them out of the space. And so that we that want to do peaceful protests can peacefully protest. But they are not doing that. Instead, they are asking us to not protest. Now, the demands of our protest, the question is that in a democracy, I can decide I want to protest for anything. The demand of the protest should not be justified. So one of the arguments that they've been making is that our demands are not justified. Tinubu is still working. The demands of a protest does not have to be justified before we can have a protest. And so this is the point we are making. We are saying that if Nigeria is going to be a democracy, Nigerians, the government should be urging Nigerians to exercise their rights to be citizens of their country, which is their right to protest. Our government should understand that an unused right is an abused right. And so we are going to use our, our right to protest by August 1. On this basis, we support the call of mass protests by Nigerians everywhere across the country, that protests should start by August 1 to address all of these issues with the theme of end bad governance. We will not fold our hands while political office orders mislead our country into ruin and peril and hardship and hunger and poverty. Last but not the least, let us make it clear that the security uh, threats that the government has given us, we hear it very loud and clear. We are not leaders of the protest. We are mobilizers of the protest. Just like NSAS, our protest is the protest of the masses. No leaders are going to be picked up. No leaders are going to be um, uh, coerced and manipulated to relinquish our struggle until our demands are met. On that basis, we would like to state clearly that we are using this opportunity to warn the Nigerian police that if you want to come to our protest, Please come and come and protest against your unpaid salary. Come and protest against your low salary, your low allowances. Come and protect it protesters. Come and pro protect protesters. Please do not come to incite violence in our protest. No state agent or agent provocateurs should come to our protest to incite violence. They will be dealt with it decisively and not by us. We can only promise that we will mobilize for protest. We will not stop Nigerian masses from defending themselves. If they have been attacked, if they have learned from NSAS and the massacres that, that, that was the major feature of NSAS, we will not stop them from defending themselves. And so we are warning the Nigerian government to not incite violence because they have history of inciting violence during protests. We still have pictures of people holding machetes, attacking protesters in Lagos. We must also state this clearly. Now, some have said that our protest is because we want to install a military government. We detest military dictatorship. Let that be loud and clear. Our protest is for our right to live as human beings in our own country. And for that reason, we 
do not support a military takeover. And so nobody should blackmail us that those are protesting are in support of a military takeover of Nigeria. We are exercising a democratic right, which is the right to protest. And on, 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 and on that basis, we want to also warn the military that Nigerians have learned from Lekki Massacre yes. and other massacres during the answers. We want to warn the DSS that we have learned over the years and we will not stay silent because you can beat people, but they will defend themselves. And we will not be responsible for that. It will be on the, it will be the cross of the Nigerian government. Every protester is a leader of that protest. And if they are asking that who are those that have mobilized for this protest, the simple answer is that it is the Tunubu government and 